seen anything more beautiful. I'll tell you. Rob, we sold a bunch of Game of Thrones Pro. But this is our first premium. And now there's just absolutely no reason to buy a Pro unless you're a vendor. The Pros are good if you have them in a bar because there's less stuff that may break under heavy use. But in your home, you really would be a fool not to buy a premium or an LE and not a pro because of the amazing differences. There's actually 12 different things on this machine that, that, that are vary from the pro. The, the limited edition is slightly different because they're very limited printing. What Stern makes their limited edition, they say we're going to make 200 and that's it, or 250 or 300, and they give you a, a limited edition certi certification. Certificate. certificate and Gary Stern signs it and you know you have a specific number whereas a premium if it sells well they can put it back in production um, now here are, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna visually look at this stunning thing and Rob Mr. Snow I could do the snow thing can I? John Snow John Snow is it John look at isn't it nice this machine I think was made I don't know for uh, no, 2005. 2005. No, 16. Can't copyright see his face there. Look at that. Well, obviously the customer will take this out. This is running the Spike Electronic System. There so actually might be a date on the back of it. Usually is. We had to update this to the latest code. Here we are. 16, I was right. You and were that, right. That was running yesterday for a while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, well, yeah. That. Uh, you can update the codes. Stern made it very easy. And the codes fix little things. You know how Microsoft, you turn your computer on and it says updates? They fix little glitches. And then Stern has done a very nice job keeping the updates cooking on these to make sure that they run pretty flawlessly. Um, and, and fixing little, little twerks. Anyway, I know, I know. I'm going to show you the differences. Well, first of all, the big, big, giant, giant difference is this play field. This is not on the, the Pro. The play field is just gorgeous and two full-size flippers to bang it around the place here. You have one loop shot there and you have an, uh, shots right here in the center. See here? Which take them down and descend into different various places. But what you try to do is hit these targets in between the shots. And the wings of this yes. uh, dragon. The dragon does, does move. It's kind of neat. He's also got fire coming out of his mouth. Now, what they've done, too, they've lit some places here. There's this, a, um, these, these things, these flat panels are LEDs that help illuminate the play field when you're up there. That's number one. Number two. These unique boards can change a multiple amount of colors. Can you bring Mr. Camera down below? I know it's a little difficult. And show underneath. See these here? These are super bright and they can light the play field various colors as you're soon going to see. These panels right here. Really nice feature. Full range color LEDs. Isn't that nice? Okay. Number three are the ramps to access the play field. We have this clear ramp that goes through the castle gate here, okay? Then you have this silver ramp here that comes around that comes through, either pops up here directly up top, all the way up, the ball will launch it up, or if you fire the ball, you can also go into the hole too with this flipper, and then it pops it up and around. So the ramps are number two. Oh, and of course the return ramp here which is not on the Pro, right there. Now the throne, number four. Well, Robbie, this you is- You spend a lot of time in the throne, don't you? Jonathan! Oh, a different throne. Hmm. Everybody knew I was gonna put that picture up. Okay. You're horrible, Rob. All right, <laughs> you see these three pop bumpers here? Uh, on the Pro, they're just LEDs, but on this, they're full-range LEDs that can change in pulse colors. So our pump bumper edition. This lovely thing right here, see this here? This play field is populated 
with full range LEDs. There's 62 of them, Rob. 62 of these. And they can do anything they want. The computer, the little tiny board back there, can send all kinds of different colors. They can make the whole play field blue, red, green. We're used to this now. But boy, what a great idea. When the first games, Rob, that came out with this, these full range LEDs, it was just stunning. It really was. It was just beautiful. Now, this is not a feature, but I love this. Come over here. Stern figured out that the flash lamps are bigger than the 555s, and they had a habit of falling out. So they put in these little, see these little gadgets that hold the LED, the flash lamp LED in, so it won't spit itself out while you're playing. Uh, Star Trek were notorious for the flash oh, yeah, lamps coming out. So what they did is they started putting That's a good idea. A little um, clip. rubber. They put some like rubber. Um, uh, caulking in like a yeah, but that's but, probably like a glue. Clip, the, it, it's not a glue because you'd have to be able to bring <clears> it free. Clips but are the clips are a better idea. So I was happy to see they did that there. Very nice feature. Um, so what were the LEDs were all looking for? <laughs> Don't remember the number. I flashed the number though. All right, look, artwork. Artwork is different. One, all three. The Pro has one version of artwork. Well, this artwork. It's called the North, okay, with Mr. Snow, okay, and of course the back glass has that artwork too. Oh, Robbie, let me see. The Iron Throne with the flasher. Yeah, I did cover that. Uh, the Iron Throne. Let me see the other. Jonathan, I have to look at my cheat sheet. Mm. The wall elevator, of course, is in the back. That elevator here that brings the ball up and. It's very nice. And I mentioned it earlier, but I didn't assign a number to it. Our beautiful dragon is number nine. It's very, very nice. And it looks like it's pretty indestructible. It's out, it's out of sight, it's out of line, and it's safe Nothing up there. is whacking on it. Nothing. nothing no ball play bang. on it. All it'll do is manually flap its wings. Well, I uh, can't show you. It's number, no, number ten. It's hidden in the back. There's a ball diverter. That obviously is not on the other because it has to be able to divert the ball into the different uh, ramps inside. I can't show it to you. But number 11 is actually hiding under the playfield. They've put the playfield slides back in. So now you can slide the playfield and you can move stuff. It's, it's like a nice feature that they took away and then they brought back. <gasps> Look who's here visiting. A special guest. This is Ron from the Pinball Clinic. Pinballclinic.com. Oh, yeah, dot com. <laughs> I, I have the title on the bottom. Yes. <sighs> He's not used And the to link. This. He lives nearby. He was nearby fixing a Tales from the Crap, or Crypt. Yes. Tales from the Correct. Crypt. The game of the future. That's become popular again. Oh, tell us, did this Tales from the Crypt have the door handle? It did. It did. It actually didn't have that I know, drilled out. They get broke. Oh gosh, have you, you have come to... across the one with the button? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, what else are you going to do to fix it? Uh, but somebody bakes the handle again. Oh, so they, the handle's see, I didn't back know in production. That. So somebody Excellent. makes it. I don't know who makes it. Did you hear the fan kick on the cooling fan? Yeah, I did. Uh, that's something to know on the new spike system. I, I'm right in the middle of telling them all these things wrong. The spike system. Oh, that's bright. Yes. Now, do you hear the fan? People get upset. The fan's broken. It's not working. The fan only comes on when it needs to. There's a temperature it's selector. Thermostatically there. controlled. Yeah, that's that better? <laughs> yes, I can, it's I can very see your bright. bones in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Uh, they are very bright. bright. They are very bright. Oh, and there's the on-off switch. That's a pet peeve, Ron. You have to reach over here. Why is the switch in the back? Well, they save a quarter because they don't have to run a wire from here. Yeah, but when you put well, it in side by side, side you can't but get Rob, to Rob, it. Rob, let me just show you something neat. Turn the switch off and watch. There's a second before it actually goes off. You ready? Watch. Here we go. Yeah, look See? at that. It's a hesitation. There's a slight delay as everything powers down. Oops. Oops. Oh! Who designed this? my first time putting it on. There's a slight delay in putting the back glass on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Turn it back up. 
Uh, yes, sir. Good. So we want to play this, Ron. Actually, Ron, you play it. You want me to play? Have you ever played a premium? I've never played this game at all. At all? No. Okay, good. Now, now we're ready. Here's the big I, test. It, it should work well tilted to the right. Like you this. creep! We're not going to put the legs on. We also put the casters, the leg lever, on so that the customer doesn't have to. So now, now, Ron, we're back. Now look, I wanted to show everybody the etching here too. Isn't that nice? Oh yeah, that's like. Uh, See how nice cut, it's yeah. cut. Very nice. Beautiful. Are you ready, Ronald? We want to see how good you are. Well, I, I'm assuming it's going to drain to the right a lot. Creep. Now, look how these are all yellow or white, but the shields are different colors here. As he's playing the, the Barthesia. There's a lock. What have you, what have you chosen? Picked, I think I picked pass for now. Try it back. Now I do know, Ron, if you peck these two shields right here, then I'll do it for you. Peck it. That lights the lock. So the ball lock right here is what right Straight up. No, we're not going to let you do that. Here we go. Get it right in there. Close. Uh, Actually not. <laughs> oh, right oh, in there. there? Oh, I thought you wanted me to hit that, that thing. That's, no. Right that's right the there. lead. We're going to blame it on the lead. It's the lead. <laughs> oh, I like this thing here. Isn't this sharp? When you hit this, it doesn't take it back. I want to knock your finger off. I almost forgot there's a 12th thing. Ron, the kickback. The kickback is under the I forgot all about that. So the kickback isn't. We'll show you how that works. So right up in the center here where it says cast. Hands in the way. This is how you annoy players. Let's light our lock again. Good. Well, you know what? Let's go back here. Lock is lit. Into this here. Okay, that kicks it back up. Okay, let's let's put it in the lock. It's not weird. It's unfair for Ron because the game is in center. There's the second one. Oh, Look, green. Isn't that sharp? Now our flash lamps were full white then. You're ready now, young man. What did you choose? Our spinner builds the value left at the three targets. We're on the yellow strip. Is lit. Close. Ron, we're gonna help you. Help me. Very well. There we go. Triple one. Black water! Multi ball! Look at that. Yellow and uh, red. Shoot the jackpot. That is bright.
Not too bad, young man. All right, let's see what he's gonna choose. House. That's that one. Flip the button and choose it. Oh, oh too late. In program. Gold targets like the red shot. He's a topper, so red. I think we're only confusing people. There's a lot to do on this. Yes, there is a lot to do. I'll For take sure three of them. them. You'll take three? Yes. I don't, I don't know how many more are left in the world that are still in the box. Uh, not, not a whole lot left. Timed, so the game will give you the ball back just like other games if it doesn't detect you've been playing long enough. He has finished that, but he's got to get the other three reds. Let's help you out. Let's help you out. Help me. If it was too soon to get that off the head. Yep. Fast that kickback did watch. Yeah, that's Something. like you gotta be ready for that. Wow. It's like the Yaga on Do you see F14. the effect up top here? Wow, that comes right out. Yeah, I see the upper lights on there. Very nice, Ron. Enter your initials. Your initials. Oh. We cheated, so it doesn't really matter. No? Well, I'm still you better be putting TMT in here. No. Kill it. You know, Ron, I have to tell you, I have to wiggle in some green screen here. I actually was in a joust. I heard that. Yes, I, I've, I've actually used this footage Someday, before, and I'm too lazy to film anything else. Let me show it to you. That's one hell of a splinter. Oh boy, this is gonna ruin my shirt. Frank, you said this was gonna be easy. <sighs> I got killed. You got it was killed. a good death scene though, wasn't it? Was it by one of your competitors? Oh, I want them dead, I, I mean. There's room, there's room in this hobby for lots of competitors. <laughs> NOT! <laughs> I hear the ending music. Steven? Good night.